Well, the Eastern Cape has a rich her history of traditional leadership and monarchs. This year's Heritage Day is also a little bit more special for the Ama Mpondomise nation as their kingship was restored after King Mplonto was stripped of his kingship at the turn of the 20th century after the killing of the magistrate Hamilton Hope. He was a hero of the Ama Mpondomise and his legacy was celebrated at the Kroza Great Place in Umbu in the Eastern Cape with a memorial lecture. Historians have described him as a, a fearless leader taking the fight to the colonizers. A nation still jubilant after they were denied the kingdom for more than a century. Remembering Mshonto is also important for the confirmation of the rich heritage of the Amambundu Mise. That heritage is a historic and cultural moral booster. It's an honor as well to us as Amambundu Mise because King Mshonto is, is one of the statesmen, it's one of the freedom warriors in this country and we are very delighted and uh, we are confident to say that ultimately our kingship has been revived. Historians say the decisive and strong leadership showed during the colonial times by King Mthlontlo and other monarchs in the province must serve as a guiding light today. But back then, the brave leaders struggled because they did not have complete support by the people. Unfortunately, in those days, the, the balance of forces was against him. The, 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 the people didn't have courage to, to follow him. But I think the, the, the mood in the country, all across the country, these days, is people are crying for d decisive leadership. And um, I hope we will still get it. The monarchs also played a prominent role during the liberation struggle. They used those links to fight against colonial dispossession and against colonial conquest. They used different strategies. So it is out of those relationships, it is out of those early indications of consciousness that there was a common enemy that new modern liberation struggle was born. Even today, the government looks toward traditional leaders to champion development and unity. We want uh, the institution of traditional leadership to be the anchors of that uh, nation building and uh, to ensure that, uh, you know, uh, traditional leadership are not part of divisions, are not part of factionalism, and uh, traditional leaders are part of contributing to the unity of the nation. The Amambundu Mise Nation is now looking toward the final step to seal the return of the kingship. It will be the coronation of their king, Zuluzuko Matiwane. A date is yet to be decided on. Kurulegu Nyembeze, CPC News, Umbu.